doing um, just random winter banding. So we are trying to catch some crows that we hope, given that it's March, are not migrants. We don't know who they are. Sometimes it, we manage to band a crow that turns up in our field site as an adult. They have to make, I think, a lot of judgments between people that are essentially harmless because they're walking their dogs or they're runners or they're something like that, and those who might actually not like them for one reason or another and chase them. Uh-oh, we're getting, we may have to cut this for, we want much more than six, right? So we should probably get in the car. Right. Let's see. The whole buddy got a bundle. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whether to abandon things, it's all a part. If I were to say what is my ultimate goal, there are actually sort of two ultimate goals. Crows are just one really good example of a species in which they have complex social relationships and many of them are cooperative. So understanding the conditions under which they are highly cooperative and the conditions under which they become less cooperative and more competitive makes them a way to study the general laws governing the evolution of cooperation. The other side of it is actually rather different by understanding how animals are attracted to and used and how we can promote their healthy populations. Those are the kinds of places that ultimately we should want to live. Hey sweetie, you okay? cooperative and the conditions under which they become less cooperative and more competitive makes them an example if we understand how what, what promotes cooperation maybe we can get people to do things <laughs> cooperative